we will now consider what happens when we connect uh, a few resistors either in series or in parallel. So let's start with the series connection first. When the two resistors are connected in series, they are connected like this. So this is R1 and this is R2. We can now connect this combination to a battery. And let's say that the battery is ideal, so it doesn't have any internal resistance. So let's say that the voltage of the battery is delta V. This side is positive, this side is negative, so the current I that's flowing in the circuit is flowing clockwise. There will be a voltage drop when going from here to here. And this voltage drop is delta V1. There will be a voltage drop when going from here to here, and that we're going to call delta V2. By looking at this picture, you can see that the sum of the voltages of the voltage drops across these two resistors is equal to the delta V of the battery. So we can now say that delta V is equal to delta V1, delta V2. From the Ohm's law, we also know that delta V1, the voltage drop across the first resistor, is equal to IR1. So we can now say that this delta V1 is equal to IR1. Delta V2 is equal to I. R2. So I can now say that this delta V is equal to I R1 plus R2. And now the question is, can we change these two resistors with one single resistor such that the current flowing in the circuit doesn't change? So let's say we get rid of these resistors and we change them by one single resistor we're going to call it R equivalent Why equivalent? Because it drives the same amount of current So the question is, how is this R equivalent now related to R1 and R2? Well, we can apply the Ohm's law here again by looking at this, you can see that delta V is also equal to I times R equivalent. And the conclusion that you make from here is that R equivalent is equal to R1 plus R2. Now you don't have to have only two resistors. You can have several resistors connected in series. And you can now write a general expression. You can say that when the resistors are connected in series, the equivalent resistance would be simply the sum of all the resistances connected in series.